To achieve the desired refractive outcome from cataract surgery, an IOL exchange is often a reasonable alternative. This patient is two and a half months postoperative from the original cataract surgery with a myopic results. The limbus is marked as a slit lamp preoperatively at 3, 6, and 9 o'clock. The limbus is dried to reveal these marks, and then uh, as much moisture and mucus from the surface of the conjunctiva is removed. A modified Mendez ring is then aligned with the marks, and the 80 degree axis is denoted with an additional mark using a Sinsky hook. And the microscope is rotated in the an incision created. <clears throat> I prefer to use a soft shell technique of viscoat and provisc to inflate the anterior chamber and then viscoat is placed on a 30, uh, 30 gauge hypodermic needle. The fine edge of the uh, needle is, allows placement of viscoelastic underneath the anterior capsular rim to begin the viscodissection process. Care is taken to inflate but not overpressurize the anterior chamber and capsular bag. Provisc is then used on a regular OVD cannula to complete the process of viscodissection. It is helpful to visualize a posterior wave of viscoelastic across the posterior capsule. This is continued out to three, almost 360 degrees and the cannula is used to test for release of the optic from the capsular bag. I prefer to use a kugel and hook or other uh, similar blunt instrument to then release the haptics from their peripheral entanglement in any capsular membranes. A useful aid for this is uh, a thorough cleansing of the capsule bag during the original cataract surgery. And then from um, behind the lens, a haptic optic junction is elevated, which allows the haptic to bend behind the lens. The OVD is then replenished, and micro instruments are used to trisect this lens. This particular instrument set is from MST and includes the uh, Chang Packer. IOL cutting 19 gauge scissors in my right hand and a micro holders in the left. By removing the initial piece that gives easier uh, access and greater room to complete the disassembly of this lens. It's important once this lens has been removed that all pieces are reassembled on the cornea. And as you can see here from the cut edge of the optic, a small segment was liberated and fortunately recognized and removed. But it's important to rem remove all of the lens pieces. I prefer to fold all of my own lenses and place it in the cartridge under microscope observation. And then the lens is placed in a fairly routine fashion. The viscoelastic is removed from um, the capsule bag first. The optic is then seated into the capsule bag and the anterior segment has its viscoelastic evacuated, including from the undersurface of the cornea. It's helpful to hydrate uh, and flush into the angle to ensure that uh, the least amount of retained viscoelastic uh, is there. Corneal wounds are hydrated and the case is concluded.